A nonprofit government watchdog group called OpenTheBooks.com, they have been doing some research and they have found that Metro Nashville's financial condition is improving, but the debt continues to create a burden on, so to speak, the fiscal health of the city. We're joined this morning by Rachel O'Brien, OpenTheBooks.com, to break down the findings and Rachel's. Uh, Rachel, what is Nashville's current debt situation right now? Yes, yeah, so this is based on its most recent annual comprehensive financial report. It's something that every state and city has to file every year. So Nashville um, had a five point seven billion or had five point seven billion dollars available essentially to pay six point seven billion dollars worth of, of bills. So that's about a billion dollar shortfall. That's a debt burden, um, and that if you divide that by the number of taxpayers in Nashville, that works out to a debt burden of about forty five hundred dollars per taxpayer. Most of that, much of that is due to these generous health care benefits that Nashville promises its retirees. It recently changed how it's delivering those benefits, but it still has to sort of make up for what it owes. And there's a lot uh, left that, that Metro Nashville has to pay for. All right. So changes for retirees. We're curious. Let's do some comparisons to other cities. Mm -hmm. How do we rank up against other cities and then previous years? Yeah, so they're ranked every year by um, an organization called Truth in Accounting. All they do is look at the, the fiscal health of cities and states. They work with the University of Denver, their college of business. So they rank the largest 75 cities. So Nashville was ranked 48 this year, meaning there are 27 cities with worse finances and, and <clears throat> excuse me, 47 cities with better finances. So this year, as I mentioned, um, Nashville taxpayers, or this is based on last year, rather, Nashville taxpayers each have a debt burden of 4,500. That is much lower than the year before. It was 11,000 the year before. So the financial condition is improving. Um, it's actually the lowest, this debt amount is the lowest it's been in eight years. Um, in 2019, the, the taxpayer burden was $20,000 per taxpayer. So it's getting better, but again, and the city still has to catch up with all of the gotcha. health care benefits that they promised retirees. It's very expensive, so they've got to sort of dig out of that hole. All right, Rachel O'Brien with OpenTheBooks.com. We appreciate it.